I'm Anthony Struthers from the University of St Andrews Medical School and the project I'm talking about I did in conjunction with um, Simon, in fact he very much led these projects. Um, so I'm going to talk about the wider collaboration between St Andrews Medical School and the College of Medicine. Um, we've had a partnership for over 20 years. Um, the Malawians used to come to St Andrews Medical School and if you look along our corridor you see very many of them in our old class <laughs> photographs and um, their very original medical school was built on the same, um, the same standards as St Andrews, they followed the St Andrews um, set up and um, some of them, in fact John Cheesy was one of our, our graduates um, from many years ago when he tried to be president a couple of years ago, I think. So, we've been involved in two Scottish Government um, grants, one called Enhancing Medical Care and one called Enhancing Health Care, and we have a current and ongoing collaboration. For the first one, we were looking very much at their uh, medical curriculum. We wanted to increase the number of graduates in the College of Medicine and to develop a new modern medical curriculum by providing a new integrated undergraduate curriculum. And we also went in to help support um, the delivery of that curriculum by putting in some IT infrastructure and providing some human resource. So these are just pictures to show that we work together with them. Um, this is a picture of us bringing in um, IT equipment, um, projectors, PCs, um, all sorts of IT resources came in and we provided consultancy and training for registry staff and technical staff at that time. And these are one of, that's a now a very old PC classroom, um, but it's been very useful to the college. As well as providing the IT um, equipment, we provided a series of consultations with senior comm staff, with academics and ICT staff in order to develop some um, software. And in fact, the curriculum management system that they call their CMS was born at this time. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's used by all courses in the College of Medicine, postgraduate and undergraduate. And it's now managed by the COP ICT staff. So they're fully responsible for this. And in fact, I took this picture just a couple of days ago to let you see how active it is. It's timetable driven. So everybody in the college, staff and students have an individual timetable. Um, and if they click onto any one of these, what we call elements, or what they call elements, it links into an element page. And this is one by Chizomo. Um, the students can see their learning outcomes, they have their lecture notes, they have required reading. And in medicine, it's always very important that your topics are mapped to a wider um, curriculum map. So this is functioning now. This was created many years ago, and many years later, they're still developing and using it. And this is us with one of my colleagues, with the ICT staff in the College of Medicine, just chatting to them, making sure that everything is integrated with their system. So what was the ta take home points from that um, project? The new MBBS was launched. Um, more than 100 medical students now graduate each year. A PC classroom was established. And the students are very much online. They very much go online to get their resources. And the foundations of a stable IT system were laid. The second grant, um, we focused on healthcare. So we went in and helped them review their medical school curriculum and also started to develop new programmes with them, as well as um, um, IT capacity strengthening. So, in fact, we just finished this last January, I think, the BSc Honours in Biomedical Sciences is now complete with assessment and quality assurance processes. The, we worked with the School of Public Health to develop a postgraduate master's in global health, and we supported the development of the CMS across other campuses and degree programs. And that's a picture of the curriculum team at the lake 
where seemingly that's the only place work can be done. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, yeah, I think it was very enjoyable. It was. Yeah. And that's just us working closely. You'll see some familiar faces here. So whilst they were all having a happy time at the lake, myself and um, the IT team made our way up to the long way um, with um, some more IT equipment and um, we, we helped them take the IT out to the Lalongwe campus. Um, this is a picture of me with um, the IT team from both um, St Andrews and from the college and we've actually got very close relationship now and we all got on extremely well and we're at the end of a phone call at any time that they want. Although I've just heard that Joel here who's our mainstay and everything, has gone off to China for two years. But uh, anyway, hopefully he'll be back. At the Lalongwe campus, it's always much more interesting to look at the back of a piece of IT equipment than the front. So I thought I would just show you what was actually at the back. And I think the problem that we were having there was that the plugs weren't of a sufficient standard to take all this kit that was being plugged in. However, that's now all sorted. And there's the PC classroom in the long way and um, the, the projector facilities. Um, video conference was very important to them, especially with, with um, the long way. So we provided them with two mobile video conference units, and in fact, we use them every week. We have a video conference with Malawi, somebody from the school. So they've been very, very important um, for the collaboration. And that's Arthur and Bill. Um, looking puzzling at this huge bit of kit that sits in a cupboard somewhere. Um, but it, it now has air conditioning, so it works better. So not only have we gone over there to help them, but we've brought them over to Scotland. And we've had a, had a lovely time. This is Anne's Strother Fish and Chip Shop, <laughs> and, um, which they really enjoyed. This is the famous photograph that everybody has to have in St Andrews and the Scottish Parliament, and this is Arthur, who's never quite got over the fact there was a seat named after him. They ask after every time we go. So, the successes and take-home points. Well, I think we built up self-sustaining expertise and confidence in the academics and the ICT professionals. Um, Simon and I noticed last time we were there, um, we were the facilitators, but they actually took control of the sessions themselves and helped develop the course um, without really us contributing too much. Um, so we feel that we've left them with confidence and skill to implement and review their curriculum and new developments. And similarly with the ICT, um, they are now running on their own. Their main problem is getting money to provide kit for them. The challenges haven't really changed. This is quite an old slide, but I've put it up because I actually don't think anything that much has changed. They still have problems with reliability across their network. Um, their intranet will work very much better than their internet, but they need the internet to get between the various campuses. So I think if anybody's thinking about how they can help support them in future grants, these are areas that they definitely need help with. Ongoing initiatives with St Andrews, we send out four students every year through a Dorothy Miller endowment. They go out to Malawi, they're allowed to do any project that they like. Um, really, it's about um, growing global citizens. We've been doing that for a large number of years. We have a Malawian Global Health Doctorate programme and there are currently three PhD students on this programme. Um, Wilbur. Um, who's um, St Andrew's staff, has trained 10 Malawian researchers in principles of molecular diagnosis at the College of Medicine and in collaboration with St Andrew's Malawi became one of the first three African countries to implement the tuberculosis test. The clinical officers, um, the St Andrew's College of Medicine collaboration funded the training of 10 clinical officers and that's a picture of Bernie O'Hare, who works partly for the University of St Andrews and partly for the College of Medicine. And um, they then had follow-up bids with Giz and Elma, and they now have 100 scholarships 
awarded. And this shows you where the graduates from the programme now work. So it's taking expertise out into um, the community. Pacha, this is um, a project of Bernie O'Hare, um, who is a paediatrician, and um, they've designed a five-day course, um, 350 healthcare workers and 40 pre-service tutors have been trained. Um, so she's very, she was very keen that I promoted the Pacha project. Problems, really the main, <coughs> the main problem that I've had is grappling with customs. So for the next project, I'm very happy to put in money, to ask money for more IT kit, but we do have trouble getting the kit out there. We had trouble buying it out there in the first project and we had trouble sending it out in the second project. So these are areas I think we um, could do help with and I'm sure other people could too. And that's everything I have to say.